Hey guys, it's Anthony Ford. Today I went to Walmart and I bought this, whatever, hockey mystery box. So this box has one bonus item. I don't know what that is. One mystery pack, one auto or relic card, and six factory sealed packs. And one in ten boxes has a graded card. And it's pretty, pretty easy to tell which box is a graded card because the box will be quite a bit, quite heavier than the uh, normal box if it has a graded card, so... Let's get into this. I th think this has a graded card. I'm pretty sure it does. Because I did try and like weigh out the boxes. And this one was felt a little heavier than the um, other boxes. So let's see what we got. Yeah, we got a graded card. So I, I'm guessing this is our bonus item. It's a John Tavares uh, 1516. Upper Deck Series 1 Jumbo card. So nothing special there. Uh, got some packs, I'm decent so far. 15, 16, OPG Platinum times 2. 2 artifacts retail. Uh, 15, 16. 16, 17, Parkhurst. Uh, what is this? 16, 17, Parkhurst, and a Calder Collection, 2003. Uh, this might be a hobby pack, I'm not too sure. I have absolutely no idea. But actually, pretty decent packs. Um, not too bad. How should I open I'll open it like that. There we go. And we got our... One hit is a Game Night jersey of Zach Delpy. Left from Pinnacle, nothing special there. Pretty beat up too, it's not a nice sleeve or anything. And our graded card is a. What is it? It's a 9 5. Zach Wierenski, um, one of these top rookies. This is the gold version though. That's kind of cool. It should gem in, no grading on the corners or anything. Uh, Becca grading too, so that's cool. Not terrible, I mean could be worse um out of my whatever what is it six or eight seven eight years of collecting cards it's only the second graded card i've ever owned i'm not too high on uh, graded cards so let's get into the packs let's start off with the parkhurst What is this? A Centennial Salute of um, Bobby Orr. Kind of a cool card. A rookie of J.C. Lippin. Or Lippon. I don't know how to say that guy's name. Got a letter on the sweater of Henrik Zetterberg. Nick Dowd rookie and a Sonny Milano rookie. Lots of artifacts, so I'm gonna do nothing in here. If I get something in here, I'll go like I'll be absolutely insane. Highly unlikely though. Uh, base. Yep, base. Go oh, 2003. What is this? Pacific Calder Collection or Pacific Calder? You know what I can get in here? I've never opened this stuff. I've never seen this stuff opened. Oh, this is uh, it's one of these Pacific Complete cards. You get like one of these in like every single product that Pacific made. Okay. I guess this is a base card of Joe Corvo. This is a silver one, I guess, of Alice Kotalik. Yeah, it's a numbered uh, 48 of 299. It's kind of cool. The Fedor Fedorov. Now on to the uh, 1516 Platinum. Hey, we got a black ice. Is this a hobby, I wonder? 
No, it's not. I'm going to black ice parallel here. So Tarasenko. We've got a Brendan Gallagher uh, black ice. 90 of 99. Not terrible there. That's okay. Tyler Sagan. Retro. And those all-star base cards. Carey Price. We got a tracks in here. I got Matt Duchesne, Joe McGinla, Phil Esposito retro, and a Tyler Ennis tracks. So actually, that's not too bad for a repacked thing, whatever you want to call it. Handful of inserts, two numbered cards, a graded card, and got one hit. But that's okay. I'm kind of happy with that. Pretty decent for. One of these Walmart boxes, but that is it, guys. Thank you for watching.